What is going on guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Now today I uh, gotta go and do a few things for my vending business. Uh, in my last video I actually was able to secure a location for my rack. So that's what I'm getting ready to set up and do. You can see it behind me there. Go ahead and flip the screen over to give you a better look at it. So here's the rack right here. Five head rack uh, set up for 50 cent and 75 cent. I have new locks on it. Everything is good to go. Uh, this one is going into a trampoline park. I have currently two machines there, two of the four-way machines. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this one in there because last time I went in there to collect, uh, they said I could go ahead and put this in there. So pretty excited to finally get this thing placed just in time for my mom and my stepdad to do spring cleaning because uh, they did say they kind of wanted it going by then. So my little brother and I are going to load this up into the big van and then head over there and get it all set up and uh, making me some money. If you can just move that one box or lift it up on top of the box, it'll be fine. Can you lift that part um, up? I was just going to try and move the stuff. It'd probably be easier just to lift it on top, that way it's I know, up. but I don't know what's in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? It looks like books and stuff. Oh, your pizza's here. Pizza. Alright, we got it all loaded up, good to go. Uh, go ahead and close it up and then drive on over and get it set up and uh, making me money. All right, just pulled up at the trampoline park where I have the two machines and I'm about to put the rack. So uh, let's go ahead and put it in. All right, here we are inside of the trampoline park getting everything all set up. Uh, I'm setting up the 75 cent ones here with the uh, laser fingers. As you can see, they're little uh, things you put on your finger and then you turn it on it's like a little light now these ones um, I think will do okay here but I'm gonna eventually switch them out for yo-yo balls um, part of a group on Facebook called vending nation I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it if you have not definitely go check it out um, I don't get anything for uh, sending you guys there or anything like that just I think it's a really great community of vendors that uh, help each other out and uh, give each other advice, especially uh, for those that are just starting out. I got a lot of the information that I learned early on uh, from this group. So definitely go check that out uh, and shout out to uh, Brian LaRue over at uh, Vending Nation. Uh, his channel is definitely awesome and is one of the places that really inspired me to finally get started on my vending business. But I'm going to be switching those out for yo-yo balls, like I said. I think they'll do a little bit better. You can get them from a and Global. So I set up an account. Haven't ordered anything yet. I uh, kind of want to try to get through the inventory I have in here first um, before I go ahead and order some more product. Now, going to go ahead and close it up. Got it all filled up. Everything is good to go for this one. So we're just going to have to check back in a month. Uh, the two candy machines here do very well. Um, so I'm thinking this rack will do really well as well. Uh, normally I'll be able to pull in close to 50 to 70 bucks from this location in a month. So I'm thinking with the rack it'll really bump that up a lot. Hopefully it's, as you can see, it's right next to a change machine there. So that definitely helps out a lot uh, on the fact that getting some more sales. Now go ahead and open up the second one. This one is set up for uh, 50 cents. Uh, right now I have I believe jumbo erasers for this one uh, as you can see uh, in just a second that I definitely have a lot more of the jumbo erasers uh, than the other ones I don't think they'll sell that well 
Uh, something else I do want to mention is that all of the product in this machine came with it when I purchased it. I uh, bought it from a guy on a Facebook marketplace several months back and had all the inventory and everything all ready. So going to try to go through and sell as much of this stuff as I can. Uh, and then what, whatever's left over, I'll end up probably just throwing away or maybe I'll put it in something else. I don't know. I only currently have one rack. But you can see there's definitely a few more of the jumbo erasers, like I said. So it doesn't seem like they're going to sell nearly as well as the laser rings, but we'll just have to wait and see. They might surprise me. Uh, those ones I will be switching out for a slime mix eventually, just uh, haven't done so yet. Now go ahead and move on to the bottom row. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't have any gumballs on this location uh, yet. Uh, all of them have been set up for candy M&M's, peanut M&M's, Reese's Pieces, and then Spree do very well. Uh, sorry if you can hear that in the background. There is a dog barking. Hopefully uh, doesn't. Uh, it's not too loud for you guys. But go ahead and open this one up since I don't have gumballs. Definitely want one of these to be set up for gumballs. So that's what I do. Uh, now two of the ones on the bottom are set up for uh, one inch round. So it could be... Uh, gumballs or bouncy balls or you know stuff like that little one inch round items uh, and then one of them is set up for toy capsules but go ahead and pour in all the gumballs here uh, I wish I actually had more gumballs to fill it up more because I definitely would have but this is actually the last of what I have I'm waiting for uh, more gumballs to come in I just ordered two more cases from a Sam's Club uh, dot com so I am a Sam's Club Plus member there so I do get free shipping on that. D definitely love the gumballs. Great profit margin for sure. Uh, I think they only cost me about 2.7 cents a piece right, or, right around that area. Now go ahead and open the next one up. Uh, this one is the one that is set up for toy capsules. And I did happen to get, like I said, it did come with inventory. So I do have a toy capsules to put in this machine. Uh, these are just little acrylic rings. This is only a 70 or sorry, 25 cent toy. Uh, so not really sure what to expect here. For now, I'm going to keep them as the rings until I decide on something better to sell. Or maybe I'll just switch them to 50 cents. Uh, the gumballs are definitely keep at 25 cents. But I am kind of considering moving the other two uh, purchasing 50 cent coin mechanisms to make these into 50 cent uh, things because even though the fun rings definitely have a decent profit margin at 25 cents I am not how I'm not sure how well they're gonna sell uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, as you can see it's completely full so doesn't look like they go very quickly at all but nonetheless it is free in inventory so definitely nothing to complain about go ahead and got it all filled up uh, go ahead and close it up in just a second here as you can see i kind of move some of them around so I can actually close it. That's how full it still is. Uh, now, move on to the last one. It is another one-inch uh, round wheel. So, this one I go ahead and unlock. Uh, and this one I'm going to be putting gumballs in. I'm um, sorry, not gumballs. I already have gumballs. This one is going to be bouncy balls. Came with uh, the machine, just like the rest of the stuff. Uh, and... You can definitely. I'm definitely going to keep gum, uh, bouncy balls. I don't know why I keep trying to say gumballs. Uh, maybe I just love the profit margin on the gumballs so much more. But bouncy balls are definitely pretty cheap at a a Global as well. So definitely plan on keeping that set up here. Um, I'll probably just keep the uh, bouncy balls at 25 cents. But I have heard of some people successfully vending them uh, at 50 cents. I don't know. Maybe that's something I'll try out later on. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, because, like I said, this is my first time ever placing a rack, so not really sure what to expect, how much more to expect in sales, uh, or what products are really going to sell. Now, I, like I said, I do think the laser fingers will do okay, um, and the gumballs and the bouncy balls. Awesome, got that machine all set up, good to go. Uh, going to go ahead and check on it in a month when I go check on the other ones. We'll see how it does. 
Uh, I think some of the products in there I'm eventually gonna change out, but everything that's in there came with the machine, other than the gumballs. The gumballs it did come with were no good. So, gonna head back and get back in my car because I don't really wanna drive this big old van all the way up 45 minutes to switch out a coin Mac, uh, which is what I have to do now. Uh, unfortunately, the coin Mac is uh, back spinning so you can spin it backwards and get a free gumball every time so definitely need to put a stop to that ASAP so I was just there collecting yesterday and I found out about it so now I'm gonna go head back grab the coin mech and then head up there and get that all taken care of that is going to wrap up this video if you enjoyed this video please make sure you hit that like button I really do appreciate it uh, and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you all in the next one